I'm worried, folks. This lucky bag smells nice. I think I got stuck with another candle. It was nice to see Dispel Dice return to a lower price point for the Anime Club Lucky Bag. Now, this was a pretty straightforward offering. You're getting two guaranteed dice sets and then something else totaling $70 or more. But compared to especially the newest Gen Con release, it seems a little bare bones. I mean, that one's the same price. You get the same two guaranteed sets plus the third item or items totaling $70 and a lanyard, a case, and an exclusive pin. So I'm not surprised that this one took the longest out of all of their Lucky Bag releases over the last year, which including the Gen Con one is seven others. This one took a week to sell out, which is kind of insane. So let's dive in and let's see what we got. Not still intact, so you can see I haven't peeked. Now, normally I kind of like to go through these things in the order that the contents are listed on the website, but there's something big and bulky right here at the top. So I'm just gonna dive in and pull things out at random, and see what we got. All right, here we go. Whoa. Okay, this is um, a dog toy. I don't have a dog. Uh, this is, the, yeah, the Dispel Dog. I got the Gelatinous Cube, which out of their listings, I think is actually the coolest, but um, it's really loud and crinkly in that. So I'm gonna pull that aside and we'll look at that later. Um, not looking too good here, folks. <laughs> kind of not something I wanted. And ooh, I got something really greasy and it's a candle. DPS, Cantrip Candles, what is this one? What is the name on this guy? Ooh, yeah, definitely was leaking in there. That's great. Okay, I'm gonna have to wash this. DPS, I think I already have this one. I mean, it doesn't smell bad. It's the cinnamon, dragon's blood, hickory smell. But when I'm buying dice, I don't want a candle, especially in the Lucky Bag. I, I kind of wish they would stop including these. Put that aside. And I uh, got to clean my hands, so we're going to pause here for a second. All right, the hands aren't slippery anymore. Let's keep going. Ooh, actually, okay, we might be coming around here. There's a lot of stuff in here. So we got a dice set. Ooh, another dice set. That's So that's two, and then a bonus dice set. Ooh, okay, a little greasy on that one. Okay, turning around here. I got three dice sets. That kind of makes up for, I think, kind of the dump bag of getting a candle and a dog toy, which uh, probably are not selling too well for a dice company. Okay, let's just start going through these things. What do we got here? Cantaloupes of Bay. Okay, that sounds interesting. Let's check this out. Ooh, look at those guys. That's shiny. All right, pull one out here at random. Take a look. Wow, okay. I mean, Dispel Dice, quality dice. I, I can't ever fault them for that. Everything's sharp edge. Inking's always done really well. They have a nice bold font on them. So this one's kind of light in the coloring. So yeah, I like the gold flake in there, but it's kind of a light, really light translucent green there. And looks like there's a little bit of orange in there, but the colors are very muted on this one. So maybe the D20 is a little, there's a lot of gold flake in that guy. Yeah, I, I wonder I wonder if this is a B grade just from the colors, like being a little, little muted or if they're actually kind of supposed to look that way. Not the best dice set, but I'm happy to get a dis you know a dice set like from Dispel. They're, they're always quality dice, so we'll find these at home. <laughs> All right, moving on. Next up, ooh, DPS. This is one of their iconic sets. All right, let's check out these bad boys. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now we're talking. Ooh, well, at least it matched the candle. I don't know if they did that on purpose. Yeah, this is a cool set. I like this. Look at all those little icons on there. The red inking, actually, it's a little dark, but it does work with this dice set. And then I'm digging it. I like the vibes on this. This is, okay. So this is, <laughs> things are turning around. I got a really good dice set here. Yeah, wow, look at that. I love looking at all these little designs on here. That's really cool. Nice. Okay, that's the winner so far. <laughs> and... Last but not least, let's see what else we've got here. Lunar Bunnies. Okay, is this was this from their uh, Lunar New Year release? I think it was. Whoa, okay, that is a pink set. <laughs> pink on pink. Yeah, there's cute little bunnies on there. Look at that. Now, this normally wouldn't be my cup of tea, but I, I do like the artwork on this. I definitely, um, I think I can find a home for these. These are actually really cool. Wow, okay. So... <laughs> really turned it around there to spell dice at the end with some like some of your good dice sets all right final thoughts here now their lucky bags always come in these gigantic like almost a small pillow sack dice bag always really like high quality materials used they feel good they do a good job with the embroidery here 
I was a little, you know, this design for the anime club is a little strange to me. I thought they would have picked something a little more anime. Like, their Lunar New Year Lucky Bag design really matched the theme for that. So this one's kind of a surprise. This almost is a little more Halloween theme to me. So, I mean, take that as you will, whether you like that or not. But, I mean, the bag itself is still quality. So, really was worried here with this one. I mean, there was a candle. Enough said about that. And then I got... Ooh, that was loud. The dog toy. Now, I got the coolest one, the gelatinous cube one, which is comes with these little bones that go inside of it there. You got a skull and a couple bones. Um, yeah. Again, just like the candle, not really something I'm looking for. Not sure what I'm going to do with this. Um, and this is for a small dog. I mean, this is like the size of like, like a little dodgeball, basically. So if you had a big dog, they're probably going to tear that apart in seconds. Okay, and then moving on, I got three dice sets. So this thing turned around at the end. That was a big, <laughs> big comeback there in the final stretch. So we got the cantaloupe sorbet. Not my favorite, but it's very interesting. I think if those colors were a little more vivid inside the resin there, this thing would really pop and be a lot cooler. Now, maybe they were trying to uh, not overshadow the, the gold flake in there, but, you know, it's not a bad design. It's it's not like ugly colors or anything. It's just, I think that one could pop a little more and really be something special. And then we moved on. We got the Lunar Bunnies, and it does have these really cute little designs on there. So if you were kind of wondering about this one, it's actually pretty neat. I mean, if, if you like the pink with the bunnies, it's a good it's a good set to pick up. And then finally, DPS. Also kind of a more recent release. I thought these ones were pretty popular as well. So seeing those two sets in here, surprising. I mean, this one, I like the little designs. Like, I really got to get that gelatinous ooze like dice set because uh, I've got the giant <laughs> chunk. So I need to get the dice set that matches. But yeah, I mean, right there, three dice sets. That's what I'm happy with. The, the other stuff, not even necessary, but, you know, I'll find some use for it. So, that's the Anime Club Lucky Big by Dispel Dice. Lower price point, a little more straightforward offering. Hopefully they keep those, you know, because the Gen Con release, that was also that 125 price point. So, we'll see what goes on here, you know, going forward with them. But, whew, pulled it out. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Remember to keep rolling. Bye.